Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Animalia. I am the Marmoset, and this is City Skylines with the After Dark expansion. Why are you waiting? At least you're not waiting too long. Lots of trains going in and out of here, because it connects up to our major industrial hub and our major passenger terminal, which is where we get all our tourists. And we've also got a commuter runner going back and forth. But it's about time we built ourselves a city centre. Something big, something with all the things. Somewhere where we can put all the monuments we've unlocked over the course of our playing. So, we're going to want a nice bit of space. So, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to put in the highway that runs and bounds what will be the eastern edge. I've decided this is the direction it is. The eastern edge of our city centre. So, we're going to be doing that. So, let's take out that on there and we are going to be rolling out, running, rolling out our new highway. So, Get down on the ground. Let's just keep it nice and straight to begin with. And have it come out. Come on, click. Thank you very much. To about. Yeah, it's coming to come out to level with that line. And then. So how far apart are you? Five units. Okay. So about there ish. Have it come back. Done. So there's our bounding highway. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put a roundabout in. Over the top of this, or at least I hope we are. Bingo! There we go, there it fits. And then we're going to bring our highway round and connect up to that roundabout. Bring it back here. Now, as we learnt from over here, that you actually only need a single lane for a lot of these things to start with, so we will just run with a single slip. Let's try the straight line, because as we get a bit better, better luck with that. Oh yes, of course. Um, I forgot to turn this around. Actually, that doesn't. That appears to be a six-lane normal road, so. That if you're going the right way in a bit. That's um a bit tall. Yeah, that's a bit far too tall, I think. Let's uh, do the thing where we put the roundabout on the road on the ground and have the motorway be the one. Goes over the top. All right, so we've got a bit of slope going on here to deal with. So in fact, let's do the other thing. Have this motorway dive instead. So let's get some connections going in. And we'll leave it. I mean, obviously, as we previously discovered, for low traffic solutions, this... Oh, that appears to be going the wrong way. For low traffic solutions, my roundabouts, these roundabouts seem to work absolutely fine. But as we've discovered previously, for higher traffic solutions, 
they're not nearly as good. So we will be keeping a close eye <clears throat> on the whole situation, having a look and seeing about how we can make sure it works just a little bit better. So we will be putting a shortcut route in there. Having this one come out like that, just to make sure that they're not getting the traffic there isn't crossing over itself too badly. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So there's a connection from there to across to here, so traffic can get to the various other parts of the city. So now we need to put our district in over here. Now we're going to start with. The roads going this way are going to be as large as we possibly can make. You've got quite a cliff there. So we are going to run a large road basically around that cliff side. There we go. Now, a lot of the buildings we want to put in this district are quite large. Um, so we're going to be putting them in and then laying the next line of road in. Putting them in, laying the next line of road in. So. We, I'm basically going to have an idea of there are going to be three ways in and out of this district. So what we want to do is put three of our highway connections in over here when we get round it. Now I'm not going to put roundabouts, we're just going to have a set of slips. Uh, getting you on and off to start with, because I don't think we necessarily need a full set of roundabouts at this point, because it is just a set of roads coming on and off. So let's grab our big expensive roads straight line that comes out to here one from the middle out to here and one from here out to here okay so let's grab some of our monuments so start from the end but the most prestigious next to the harbour side whatever side so this is the theater of wonders the wonderful theater of wonders hmm. it's a theater that has plays from all over the world so it's got quite an impressive range. So whether or not we want to start putting these, yeah, let's um, let's ma maximise the effect of these things and essentially put them in the middle. So one there, and then we will grab our roads. And see, there we go. Okay, let's start with basically stick them in the middle and start spoking outwards based on importance. So the next thing we've got is the Sea and Skyscraper. This impressive office building has many companies using it. Reward for this impressive, for building, for, this is a reward for building a passenger harbour and a cargo harbour. So we will grab that. We'll put it in the opposite corner. Next thing we have is the stadium. Bring the excitement of a sports game into the city by building a stadium. Have it on slope too steep. Oops, we're going that way with you. All right, that's the level six one's done. Now we've got the high interest tower. The high interest tower is indeed high. Many companies like to have offices because it has a lovely view. Wow, that's enormous. Thump. Well, that should certainly attract the people. Next we have the Expo Center. Trade shows and conferences attract visitors from near and from far. You're another large one. Interestingly shaped as well. Let's put you next to the theater. Vaguely the same shape. Then we have the Science Center. Inside the Science Center. Top notch scientists from all over the world work to find out more about the world we live in. Their latest discoveries are presented to visitors in exhibitions. You're another huge one. Slope is too steep for you there. You're going to go next to the high interest tower. Level five is done. Next we've got level four. There's only one level four. We have the opera house. People near and far come to enjoy the wonderful music played and songs sung at the opera house. All right, you can fit. Looks like we're going to have a little gap. You can fit in there. So we've got quite a bit of a steepish slope sliding away from the river here. Hopefully 
Probably a bad idea to put a canal in there. We'd probably end up drowning everyone. Next up, we have the tax office. Civil servants work tirelessly in the tax office to optimise taxes to your liking. You're a nice little tiny one, so I suspect you will fit there without complaining about the slope too much. Yes, you do. Next up, the Grand Mall. People always like to shop. Tourists even more so. Why not have a mall where you can have more of them coming in? You're large... And I can fit you in with a small gap. There we go. <laughs> the staging having to go on to get coat for the uh, slopes we got. Mm. And we have Transport Tower. The Transport Tower is a large office building specifically meant for public transport companies. You are not too big. Can you go there? Let's have a look. Let's fill in that gap with the Transport Tower. The friendly neighbourhood park. This is a very normal neighbourhood park where everyone's friendly and where the children like to play and families go for picnics. Dug you in there. Fountain of life and death. Pretty fountain. Reminds the passerby of how fragile life is. Oh, Let's put it underneath the Tower of Interest, shall we? Level one. Statue of Shopping! Shopping is a wonderful thing. The Statue of Shopping is a constant reminder of the bliss that is to purchase something. So, where are we on balance? Let's go more towards the harbour side. Lazarette Plaza. Can poor health be something to be proud of? Apparently yes, the Lazarette Plaza, Plaza is a scenic area where people like to visit. I wonder how I earned that one. Then we have Statue of Wealth. Such a personification of the city's wealth. Park. And finally, Statue of Industry. Having booming industry allows you to build a statue to commemorate the great time in the city's history. And we'll put this one over here. Yeah. Now we've got down the bottom, we have the zoo! Slope too steep. Where are we going to put our zoo? We bought a zoo! Let's put the zoo... Hmm. Yes, I've just realised what I want to put in that space. And I, in fact, I'm going to put it in now, while I remember. I am going to put... Slope to sleep. Grrr. And double grrr. Can I move you? So has that made enough space? No, space already occupied. I'm going to move someone completely out of the way to get my... Let's move the tax office over here. The high interest tower will shunt down the slope just a little bit. And we will see if we can get... Yes, now which way do I want it? Which way do I want those lines? I mean, not all of these will be used immediately, but let's just put a six-way in there. Now, how close? Can I get it? Yes, yes I can. Statue of Wealth, move up a little bit. Can I move you back? Yep. And then move the Statue of Wealth to there. Okay, so. We were going to add a zoo. Yeah, that'll do. Where do we want to put our zoo? Almost there would be my preference. So, let's swap the friendly neighborhood park to the other side. And put our zoo in over here. And the last one we've got is a fantastic fountain. Fantastic fountains, memorizing fountains, offer the perfect atmosphere of a romantic date. Latest studies have shown that the proposals made near the beautifully illuminated fountains of the fantastic fountain have a success rate of 96% on average. Go opposite there. And that's all our monuments in. So, let's start talking about other connection things we can add to this before we start looking at filling in the rest of the district. So, 
power, electricity, poo, and garbage. We'll worry about that lot later. Uh, I suspect we might be looking at putting in a, another dedicated spoke of something or other. And what we can do is just extend the capabilities of this later. So, though we were talking about the fact that my incineration status is pretty incredible. Actually, while we're here, I have a landfill. You empty? Yes. Go away. Be replaced with a bit more industry. Thank you. So, what we want next is a huge hospital. We are going to want crematoriums at each of the junctions, because we're just going to end up with a lot of dead anyway. I am going to have... Where was the... One of these was about dead people. Statue of Wealth, Fantastic Fountain, Neighborhood Park, Statue of Industry, Shopping, Lazariette Plaza, Fountain of Life and Death. So... Fantastic Fountain is next to the Fountain of Life and Death, because, you know, here's a marriage proposal. Here's how much I love you, my dear. Here's... Oh, yeah, after you've married, or picked your proposal, you can pick the cemetery you want to get married in. We want a fire station. We want a police headquarters. Plenty of prisoner capacity. We will want... A university. We will definitely want a bus station. Do I want to put the bus station on a dedicated spoke? I think the answer to that is very much yes. Please be less in the way. So we have a metro station in the middle. I'm also going... Yeah, so bus station on a dedicated spoke. Come out to here. Let's just move you out the way a little bit more. And grab our bus station. Move it one across. Why am I moving it one across? So that I can put in a taxi rank there. So you, Lazariette Plaza, come back up to here. It's the bus station in. And metro stations. Yes, because I want one in the middle. And we're going to have a subloop that goes all the way around here now. I am pretty sure that we won't need to have cross pieces corners. However, I'm pretty sure that at some point there will be something in here that we'll want to connect up. So having a cross piece junction there Definitely, because the monkey line is going to be coming across and joining up with this. Definitely going to want to put a cross piece station in there and there. Okay, so I'm just going to straight line these for convenience. Oops. I missed a spot. Interesting. Slightly different positioning compared to the others. So there is our loop that goes around there. So you definitely do now connect up going that way across. We will connect. Hmm. 
Which one of those lines do we want to use? Let's use that one for now. Now we're looking at connecting up across here. All right, so we'll put I will put those lines in later. All right, yeah. So I'm going to put the metro lines in, and then I'll be right back. And we're back after the second transition of this episode. Yes. So I've got subway routes going both directions around this square. I've got bus routes going both directions right around, around this square. Why two? Because of how it kind of works. Um, you get points or happiness points for every connectivity you've got. So despite the fact that there are lots of subways in this rig, um, the more bus routes you have as well, it all adds up to the happiness points. So we've got plenty of happiness points because we've got lots of bus routes around the center of our city. So I haven't named any of the bus lines yet. You can see the monkey line now connects up to this as well, plugging it into the rest of our network. So I suspect that that junction there is going to get pretty busy with tourists. Speaking of tourists, we've got subways in, metros in, railway line. I'm going to take advantage of Broformer's sunken rig. Now we are going to put in a sunken station. We need to make our minds up where we want to put it. So we can get conduct conductivity and all that, that jazz. Let's put it... Where's the transport tower? Which one of these was the transport tower? You were the transport tower, weren't you? Nicely about this one is because of the shape of it. You can easily strap it on. But let's... Let's try and make it so that we don't have to worry too much. Do we want to go for one of Broforms one, or we just want to go a full-on train station? Because there's the track. But we can just have it bump over the top. Hmm. We're connecting it over this way. I'm tempted to have it coastal. This is an area of quite expensive property. <laughs> There's also the option of doing the really sensible thing and just putting it here so that the, con the connection with the rest of it is as simple as possible. But I kind of like the idea of putting it as close to the center as I can so that it's in this area. And I think we're probably going to go with one of Broformer's sunken stations so I don't have to worry about getting the rail up and over and around the rest of it. So that's kind of squaring off a bit. So let's put it here next to... Which one was you? What were you again? The Opera House. Beautiful building. So let's grab it and we'll put a sunken station in here. Done. All right, let's connect you up to the rest of our rail network. Let's have you. Oh, I think I need to just have it go for a short distance so that it's... Okay. So thanks to the terrain <laughs> and the absurd steepness of it, you can kind of actually see into the hole. Almost. How strange. How bizarre. Anyway. You need to double duck to get up in there. So let's switch to you. Come around to here. Really? This has a really quite, uh, yeah, we do have some sharp terrain. I think actually I will go the other way with you. It's pretty obvious that bending against the slope is not going to help. So let's get you out to here. Can't quite get it that far. And it will breach the surface. 
And in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be connecting this up and then filling this little lot in. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been After Dark with City Skylines. We're building our city centre. After we built a population of 60 and a half thousand, you know, added all this in, we're finally actually putting a high density area in the middle of the city. Thank you very much for watching. If you, one thing we don't have right now is a name for this district. If you happen to come up with one, please put it in the comments and I'll make sure to read it.